Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> what present did you give uh, Satoshi Nakamoto? I'm sorry? What present did you get him, Satoshi? Your homeboy. I didn't, he doesn't need anything. He's, he's one of the richest men in the world now, so what does he need? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he's still alive? or? Maybe. <laughs> John, it's amazing to see you in, uh, in, in, on screen and to talk to you, man. And just have one question for you. What yes. will it take to take this revolution to the next level? I'm a, a revolutionary guy as you. What will it take to take this revolution to the next level? Courage. 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 Yes. Wow. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love the answer. Where do we buy it? Uh, that courage. Here, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, some call you the inventor of cybersecurity. Some call you a freedom fighter superhero. Some call you a drug addict, a fugitive, or a crypto pump and dumper. Or the next president. Or the next president. What what resonates the most with you, John? I think the drug. You've experienced uh, a, a lot, uh, uh, so not uh, most of it. Uh, would you say the list of things you haven't done is shorter than the list of things you have done? Uh, okay, I, I've never fucked a whale. <laughs> <laughs> they do have whale fucking contests in Hawaii, but they've never allowed me to enter. I think maybe it's a racist thing. The things that I have. Um, I've followed my heart all my life um, and tried to steal my mind because it's, it's our minds that fuck us up, not, not our hearts. And so everything that I have done of value, I think, that, that the world will appreciate, hopefully for generations, have come from my heart. Um, and uh, my advice, I would give to you, all of you look like you're very, very young, okay? My advice I would give to you young people is, always follow your heart. If you wake up in the morning and you do not have the attitude of going, oh, thank God, I can't wait to get to work. If that's your attitude, perfect. If you have the attitude of, oh my God, I wish it were Friday so I could, I could have the weekend, stop working, you better to do nothing. Follow your heart in all things and you will be successful. Wow. That's wow. a spirit. Yeah, that's, that's a spirit. Words to live by. <laughs> yeah. hey, hey, John, about the crypto space. Yes. What's the next big big thing we're all waiting for? Moon. The next big thing is personal freedom, which will come if we do the right thing in the crypto space. If we stop looking at the crypto space as a means to get rich, and instead looking at it as a means to free ourselves from a power structure that uses economy and currency to control us. If we see the truth of that, because really from, from economic freedom, all freedoms follow, all freedoms. We are controlled by governments and institutions and banks that use the, we will produce more currency, we will print as much as we want, we will deflate it, we will inflate it, we will tell you what interest rates we will give. That's what controls us. If we have a peer-to-peer, -peer, permissionless and trustless means of transacting business, we have freed ourselves. So please God, stop looking at this just as a way to make a lot of money. I have, no, I have no problem. Make as much money as you want. But do not forget what the purpose of this tool really is. It's to free yourself. And if you do not use these cryptocurrencies for their intended purpose, if you're buying Bitcoin, keeping it in your wallet, and hoping it rises, well then fuck you. You're
You're doing the wrong thing. Use it. Find, if you want to buy something, stop using fiat and find a way to buy that same thing with crypto. That will save us. But holding a wallet, expecting it to rise, you're doing nothing for us or for yourself. Brilliant. Adoption is the key. <laughs> totally agree. Emancipate ourselves from financial slavery. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Freedom. You Believe it or not, like you may have cushy jobs and you have houses and cars. Oh, I don't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have them anymore. I sold them all. <laughs> Good. Job. Good. Perfect. But you are enslaved to a system that manipulates you through its currency and its economic use of that currency. Once you see that, you're already free to do something different. And if you think, well, it's too inconvenient to buy this or that with Bitcoin or Ethereum or Monero, I'm sorry. It, well, may be an inconvenience now. React. You store it, use it. Hey, I have some of I know that. No, I don't know. Rooney? Is really inspired by the screen of one. Vincent is the. I'm a very yeah. sorry yeah. today, and I have another. another I think the, the one moment. So I, I, I have room for one more. One, I have room for one more question. Make it a good question. Okay. Um, Where are we going to? What is the future picture from the What's the best question we have? Uh, um, last question. Damn it, uh, John. This is uh, really. Um, um, all right, this one is, uh, is maybe a little bit of a tough cookie. Crypto has the power to give us the freedom you were talking about, but crypto also yeah. has the power to enslave us totally. Because of the transparency. Because of the transparency, uh, because of, um, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's What's, what's your take on that? Is, is crypto in general just a good way to go or do we need to like uh, keep a watchful eye? Well, let me tell you something. The very first thing we must understand is that Bitcoin and Ethereum, once I've done business with you, if I've done one transaction, I can look in your wallet whenever I want and see what comes in, what goes out, how much you have. That has to change, and it already has. You can use Monero, um, Bitcoin fiber, hundreds of privacy coins. When you do that, there is no real transparency. You're you, you are anonymous, and you should be. If I call you and I want to buy something, will you an answer? Are you an answer then? Next time, next time. Next, okay, so if I call you, I probably want to buy drugs, right? So it's, yeah, yeah, you yeah. don't have to know anything other than the fact that I will give you an address to ship it to, and you're giving me your wallet, and I'm going to send you some Monero. No, the risk doesn't come from transparency. The risk comes from the willful acceptance of regulation by governments and institutions. Now, it doesn't matter whether you accept them now or not, because ultimately, when we have distributed exchanges, there is no regulation that can apply. If they do not know where an exchange is, they can't shut it down. If they don't know who you are, they can't tax you. This is the beginning of our freedom. I'm sorry? No, no, no. Answer. Perfect answer. But you think the privacy is key, right? Privacy is key. Hey, and and when when uh, when you're coming to Holland, uh, give us a give us a call because I think uh, we know what uh, what a good uh, tour sighting would look like for you, John. And we'll have <laughs> come by and uh, drink a beer. And we will start. We will start. <laughs> <the best one. laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>
Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. What a guy. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 Hey, dat kan ook wel gewoon de FBI zijn die hem gewoon. Nee, hij zit te jammen.